Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to use font ISOM in React.js. Well, as you can see, this is my app.js file and this is my React app, which is still blank. As a first step, go to your browser and search for font ISOM. Okay, and here you need to choose the first link, which is fontisom.com. And here you go to docs. And inside docs, scroll down and here you choose your stack. Well, mine is React, so I'll choose React. And here, scroll down again to get this link, uh, the first link, which is for SVG. Copy it, and then go to your VS Code terminal and paste it. Okay, clear the terminal, and then it's turned for these two links. Copy them and paste them here as well. If you paste both, uh, they will do it consecutively. Okay, clear the terminal. And uh, you can actually apply these uh, font styles, but I'm not going to use them here. So scroll down a little bit more, and, and here is the last link. Copy this one as well and paste it here. Okay. After the installation was successfully complete, we need to add our icon right here inside our return body. So let me scroll to the top and go to icons. Let's search for some icon like YouTube, for example. Okay, well, this one is good. And here you can see there are some ways you can actually use this icon. Well, we're going to use the React version. If you just click on the area, it will be copied on your clipboard and paste it here. The next step is to import font awesome. Uh, inside your React component, so your app is actually uh, can recognize this font awesome icon tag. Okay, go to your browser, and as you can see, the icon is right here. But uh, some better way to apply font awesome icons is to use the SVG tag, which is right here, as you can see. Copy it and paste it here, and uh, you actually need to remove this comment section. Let me remove it. Okay. And uh, let's take a look. The cool thing about SVG tags is that you can customize it very easily. For example, this height could be whatever I want. For example, I want it to be 100 pixels and I can also add a width as well. Change it to 200 pixels. Save the changes and as you can see, I have a giant icon. That's all. Thanks for watching.